Oh. Oh. Shut up. Shut the hell up. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I feel like no matter what position you're in in life, you should always remain humble and treat people the same way how you would want to be treated. Hi guys, today is Sunday. It's currently a little, like a few minutes before 6.30. And I'm ready for work. You see how late my hair is? Like, I can't help myself but make sure that my hair looks nice. Watch when I come home later on how crazy it looks. I just ate breakfast. I feel so full, which is good, which means that I'll have enough energy to carry me throughout the day. But this is my first Sunday working. And just now I'm just like, oh, last night I didn't sleep good. But I got this because I'm used to working every single weekend at my last job. So this shouldn't be that hard. Because I feel like with this, I do less standing and the standing is what really killed me at my previous job. And yesterday was pretty smooth for the weekend. Hopefully today I'm on the same floor and with the same residence because that'll like make it go quickly because I already know what I'm doing. But I feel like it would make sense if I'm on the same floor. It really would. I think I might be on the same floor. Anyways, I'm waiting a few minutes and then I'm going to wait my husband up to drop me. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll pick the vlog back up when I come back later on. Tomorrow is the last day of this shift and then I get one day rest, work again, and then one more day rest. And, yeah, that's what's up. I feel like I already look so tired. Mm, not so bad. The bags aren't too big today. <laughs> but, yeah, yesterday when I came home, I fell asleep at like 6 o'clock. I wanted to sleep for like an hour from earlier but I was on the phone with my friends so that didn't happen and I fell asleep at like 6 o'clock, right? And I woke back up. But I was still so tired. I still went to bed at like 10 o'clock just fine. And then I woke up. I went to bed at like closer to 11 o'clock and then I woke up at 1.40. Went back to sleep and I woke up at 4. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I have an hour and 15 minutes to sleep if I'm gonna sleep and then I I think I fell asleep and I woke up like 5.08. So honestly, was not the consistent sleep that I was hoping for. But I have some candy in my pocket that should give me the burst of energy that I probably need to like just finish today off. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so I just got home and literally the first thing that I did when I came in here was turn the air conditioner on and Come inside the living room here. Of course, I put my bag down and stuff like that. Come into the living room. Turn the fan on. And I'm literally stand standing in front of it. I'm so hot. I thought I was going to come home and cook, but what was I playing myself? I just stopped at Burger King and bought a burger because I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, but I cannot. So right now, I'm about to wash my hands, take my scrubs off, and sit inside of my room and eat that burger because I'm starving. Okay? And... I can't, I can't. I'm starving. I gotta come back. Guys, let me tell you something. I'm, you see that clip that you guys just watched? That's literally me, right as I walk through the door, take my clothes off on the floor, and sit in front of the air conditioner, because right now, it is. I'm gonna show you guys how goddamn hot it is right now. Like, I, I... It's 95 degrees. A whole ass 95 degrees, bro. Why? Why exactly? I'm so annoyed. So today, today I went to work thinking that I'd be on the same floor that I was on. And let me tell you something. I feel like no matter what position you're in in life, you should always remain humble and treat people the same way how you would want to be treated, okay? Because that right there, you never know when you are going to be in a position and you probably need somebody's help. And it's that same person who you treated shitty that's there to help. And how are you going to feel then? So today I was there and, you know, the other day once I got to work, there was this girl that I knew that I was not going to like her because she was so pushy. Like, she saw me talking to my friend and she was just like, um... Who are you? What is your name? Listen, if I'm gonna be around for a while, eventually you're gonna know who I am. Relax. So ever since that happened, I knew that she wasn't my favorite person. I didn't hate her, 
but she just was not my favorite and I wanted to stay clear of her, right? This morning it so happened that I ended up being on the very same floor that she was on. Just goddamn put the air conditioning. Okay, that's weird. Hold on guys. Let me turn. Yeah, I turned the pan down so it's not like as loud. So it so happened that I was on the same floor that she was on and she has this know-it-all arrogant attitude that is so annoying. Like I asked her something this morning and she's just like, yeah, check the books. And I'm just like, yeah, checking the books is one thing, but it's either you know or you don't know. Like I'm not going to know something and I'm sitting around here asking you still. Then she's going to ask me, oh, what did they teach you? And I'm just like, every day is a learning experience. She's like, oh no, from the orientation, like that's it for the learning. What? What are you saying? So you only learn one time, like you stop learning after that? I said for me, learning is, a, is an everyday thing. I never stop learning. And she was just like, yeah, no, I'm not saying that, but you know, oh, oh, shut up. Shut the hell up. I was so annoyed. And you know, I was so annoyed. And then I'm just like, you know what? I know that I need to stay clear of her. It sucks that I'm on the same floor with her today, which means that there's no avoiding her. But watch me get done with my work without her help. And so said, so done. And when I went on lunch, I was just sitting there in, in the lunchroom, kind of consoling myself. Like, Janine, listen, you see these shitty ass people? You're going to find them everywhere you go in every single job. And trust me, they were there at the last job. So I know. And then, you know, after that pep talk that I had to low-key give myself, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I went up there and just acted like she didn't even exist. Because, are you serious right now? And I was saying to my friend, like, imagine if somebody like her was in, like, a managerial position. Like, everybody who works under her would be treated like filth. Because of the attitude that she has. And, like, when you're like that, you're... I'm sorry, but you're not going nowhere. Because nobody likes nobody who has that attitude. I was just so shocked today that, and it's so funny because the first day I knew that I wasn't going to like her, even though I didn't say anything. And look what happened today. So annoying. So just her being there just made the day rough on its own. And the floor that I was on today, um, that floor had people who were coming straight from the hospital and who needed to be quarantined. So because of that, we had to wear like gown and everything. And it was already so hot because it's 95 degrees outside. Plus the gown. Imagine that. I was burning the hell up. Like, I know that within the first month, I should really lose some weight. Today, I did 14,672 steps. 6.45 miles in distance. That's crazy. And I climbed three flights of stairs. That's also crazy. I burned 648 calories. Which is so wild to me, but love it. Like, it's still, it's saying that I exercised for 16 minutes, 16 minutes of the 30 minutes. And normally, it doesn't even say that much when I was at my other job. Because I'm barely walking and like barely sweating and like barely, you know what I'm saying? I'm just standing there. Sometimes I'm just standing for a long ass time in the same spot. Like I'm between here and here, just standing the whole day. Which is so freaking frustrating. But yeah, I'm home. My clothes are on the floor. And an extra bag that I had today. Today, I didn't even, like, that floor literally kept me going the whole day. I didn't even eat the candy that I brought with me. Because I always have candy in my pocket. Just so when I feel like I'm low on energy, it gives me, like, the sugar rush. And girl, I think I'm going to be taking with food because, I don't know. It just sucks that right now. You're so good. It just sucks that right now. I won't know when I'm getting lunch. But it's either going to be 10.45 to 11.30 or 1.15 to 2 o'clock. On the days where I'm going, I don't know which one I'm going to be getting on which day. So I want to start taking lunch with me. But chances are most times I'm going to probably bring it home if I get lunch at 10.45. Because at that time, I'm not hungry. Today I wasn't really hungry either, even though I got lunch from like 1.15 to 2 o'clock. So I just ate um, some bits. And because my lunch ended at 2.00. My day room time was from like 2.15 to 2.45. And so I used that time to like do the books and kind of like wrap up my day. And you know, the day went quickly. I like this job because you have something to do until you leave. Unlike my other job, sometimes you're just standing there for 10 hours. 
until you leave and that was not it anyways this is a two-day vlog i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one what am i gonna eat for dinner this morning i made eggs probably i should make some eggs because i'm tired and i don't really feel like i want to cook anything i feel like today would be a good day to to sleep like for an hour because i have to work tomorrow i'm off tomorrow i don't know i'll see what my body wants to do <laughs> a real case of just talking to myself this is a very regular thing for me bye guys